<laughs> you can hear a hormone. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. It's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it pop. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Now, let's start the damn show. <laughs> welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 103rd edition of the Black Lean Collective Podcast. Nope, so you came in too early with an Alan, because this is the <laughs> podcast that's here to remind you that home is where the fart is. <laughs> We're so glad you joined us, and we appreciate your support so very much. Uh, you can keep up with us at blcpodcast.com, and please drop us a like or a follow on Twitter, Facebook, oh, not Twitter, on X. Oh, Facebook, oh, Instagram, yeah. or no. TikTok. What? That is a real thing. It's stupid. No, no. We're ain't. also on Audio Mac now, which, if you know what that is, I don't. Um, please rate us on, do us a favor, rate us on your favorite podcast platform and tell your friends. That's it. Uh, we also have a Patreon, which is patreon.com slash BLC world. And we are, of course, broadcast on the Pop Culture Pros Network. Check them out at popculturepros.com. And now, the re Drummond of our show. It's Fred. Do you know who that is, Fred? <laughs> re Drummond? Re Drummond. That's the pioneer that... meeting. Oh, no. I thought it was some different pioneer strokes. Pioneer woman. No, that's <laughs> no, a different look, Drummond. That's, a different that's Drummond. Mr. Drummond. Oh, yeah. Is this I thought Drummond it was a family strokes? Family strokes. You don't watch the wrong. I didn't watch none of that stuff, man. Alan and his hormones. <laughs> Family yeah. strokes. <laughs> I didn't watch a lot of them. No, no, no. And the guy who didn't watch enough eighties television because right. he lived in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <You mentioned McDonald's. laughs> it's Alan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show, everybody. We're so happy you're here. We have a big, a major news announcement, Fred. Uh oh. Been, we've Whoa. been hiding it from the people because we didn't want to tell them. Snado Guess Colorado. who won the Powerball, Fred? Who? Not us. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, I said not us. It wasn't us. Oh, not it was us. us. No, no, we didn't. It would be that better mics. Be a different show. <laughs> we, we'd hired actual comedians to do this yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> to play ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we'd have supermodels play ourselves. Right. <laughs> and just dub over it. We'd just do the yeah. talking, and it would be like Derek Zoolander. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. It would be great. That's a, yeah, there you go. Blue Steel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a merman. He only has one look. <laughs> one yeah, so no. look. Somebody did. Somebody did win one the Powerball. Look. Someone in San Diego, right in California. San Diego. They don't need it. They do need it. You, San Diego. You, you, you just told me how expensive it was to live there. They probably that's San probably Diego like, is the richest city in the in the country. Is it? I think. I don't know. It looks nice. I never I, like. It's even, not the richest city in the country. I don't. I don't probably. I don't know. But like. I, I never knew. I never took the time to even think about looking at San Diego, like as a, as anything. I was just, I just knew the Chargers. I knew that they had the football team and they had a zoo. I like the. You know, I, I, and I was I'm always ready. like, "Fuck you, San Diego." Yeah. And now, now I'm like, man, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nice, beautiful. Yeah, I want to go to nice. San Diego now. If you oh, like, San Diego. if you like things, it looks like California's Florida, or much like better. Miami or yeah, something. Much better. California's much better. Miami. I don't know. You know I, mean? I don't even know what that means anymore. That's where you can get the. That's where I got those the machaca, the the breakfast burrito. Oh yeah, yeah. The ones that we got Alan's in Vegas. Favorite breakfast got burrito because somebody ate it. <laughs> <Red>. <laughs> it's okay. He's not gonna let that burrito go. No, he never will. Oh, man, that was so depressing. Never, never will. He never will. Well, welcome yeah, to the show. Nightmares. Welcome to burrito Screaming. talk. Burrito. Oh, it was so good. Ah, oh, yeah. mama chaka. <laughs> my pepperoni's disease anyway like, <laughs> that still makes me laugh when i think about it but anyway so welcome to the show we're so glad you joined us yep now fred let me tell you something now man 
This might be controversial. Tell me some good. But that's not going to be good. But I think that ICE is a scam. It's a scam? It's a scam. Yeah. Mm. I don't do I get all my drinks without ice. All my every unless it's like a drink that needs to be like like sweet tea, which people around not out in the south probably don't really drink right. sweet tea. But anything else, I get it without ice because ice is nothing but pure waste. It's just volume. It just takes up volume in the drink. But it makes you drink cold. I don't care. It's already cold, man. Mm. <laughs> it's already but what cold. What if it's enough. not cold? Then I don't need it. I don't so need to drink that drink. Iced coffee? No. Yeah. Scam. Drink so you, hot coffee. You tell me. You go. Heat is what makes coffee. To the restaurant. Coffee. And you get your drink without ice. Yes, every time. No ice. Ever. You can get more. Straight out the fountain. It, you don't like ice. Right, because then, yeah, because the carbonation makes it cold. Yeah. Not not as cold as I like it. it yeah, it's cold, but it's like lukewarm. That is, it's like luke, I wouldn't it's say lukewarm. Yeah. Luke cold. It's luke cold. That's better. Like, no, yeah. luke cold no. is colder than lukewarm. No, it's not. How luke is it cold because it's not. Because Luke was born and raised on Tatooine, which is a desert planet. Oh look, now, if, now if he's been on Hoth, yeah, but he wasn't born in Tatooine, another. right? Say what. No, he but that's where he was, right? He was born in space. Yeah. He was. He was born and in, in space. And in space, <laughs> it's cold. Oh, it's cold. It was warm. So I went, ship, though. They had a furnace. For me. They had a furnace on, on the yeah, Star well, Destroyer. She was sweating a lot when, she, when they were born. Right. Yeah, see, because it's hot yeah. now. Yeah, right. You know I mean? She probably would have done for some ice. <laughs> What the fuck is this show already? <laughs> We're one second into the show, and I'm very confused and lost. Well, Fred, ice is yeah. a scam. That's all I'm saying. No, that's all I'm saying. Oh, no. It's a good scam. It is. No, it's a great People scam. People like ice. Yeah, you think you need it. You're not, yeah. It's not ice in the drink you're drinking right ice now. Ice saves lives. Ice saves lives. They put him in an ice bath. He's overheated. Put him in an ice bath. But if he's cold yeah. and they put him in there, he's going to die. But they would they did they put those blankets on it. Yeah. Those, those thermal little blankets. Aluminum foil blankets. Thermal blankets. Why don't things warm? Because they're metal, they're before. reflective. So what they do is they reflect whatever heat your body's giving Shouldn't off. Shouldn't they be inflective? You. Well, they're reflective. You wear them on the outside of you. If you ate yeah, them, so they would be they'd be reflected. It'd inflective. Be reflected when away. you put the metal part oh my god. You put the metal <laughs> part towards you and you wrap up so that I used to have to test those things. No, because on the shows you always see the metal part. You always see that's well. That's because like the shows part. don't know what what it's really like. Okay. And some so of them it, are metal on both ends. On both so sides. is is the, the 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 aluminum foil looking thing on the outside like they do in the movie? Is that just for cosmetics or is it actually do something? No, it's some of them are that way, but some of them are green. It depends on what the situation is because like I used to work for a, a, me- a medical military supply company, so oh, the outside dude. of it was green. Because they didn't want it to be like, hey, look at this gigantic piece of silver that this guy's <laughs> in, bad guys. <laughs> you know, so they had the outside green and the inside silver. Yeah, well, that's like crazy. Regular- even in the army movies, it's, 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 it's silver. It's yeah. aluminum foil. Yeah, it is essentially just aluminum foil. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It was but it does get you warm. That heat you up? Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. No, it's hot in there. Really? After a minute or two, yeah, you start sweating. Like, cause yeah. we used to do photo, I, I did photos and stuff and did the photo shoot. And people yeah, after like two, can you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, with yeah after like two minutes, everybody's like, get me out of this fucking thing. It's so hot. And I'm like, oh, good. It works. I'm like, hooray. I did, did that it. one year with the Costco bear. Like, oh, yeah. You I, you dressed up, the, yeah. I dressed up in the Costco bear. That shit, I thought it was fun. First time I ever did anything like that. Nope. No. Mm-mm. It's fun for about get five minutes. Get me out of this fucking thing. After like yeah. 20 minutes, well, I was like, yeah. Uh-uh. That's what I said, Fred. I Disney character dudes that have to wear that shit in Disney World. Yeah, they yeah. have ice vests because you get overheated See? very quick. aha. Uh-huh. Yes, Back but- to the original point. Right. Another, another good reason I like, ice. I, like, I like my character costumes without ice. Let those motherfuckers. <laughs> let, them, let them burn. <laughs> but, Alan and Fred, speaking of getting out of here and get me out of here, yeah. uh, my wife and I... Decided to do a an escape room 
Yeah. yeah, we did uh, Lizzie Borden's fucking whatever it was. Lizzie. Ooh, do you know who Lizzie Borden is? Is that the butter lady? No, that's another Borden. That's just Borden, I think. No, this is the is lady. Maybe it is related. She's the lady that killed her, allegedly, Alan, killed her family oh. with an axe. And then they're like, hey, they can oh. never like find that she did it. So our job oh. as, as amateur detectives was we were, <laughs> according to the, the people, we were the last people in the house. And they were about to like board it up and burn it down or something. Is he bored? And we had one hour to find as much as we could and try to solve the so, mystery of the murder. The you murder. Were doing that, did, did you sing The Boys Are Back in Town? Because Lizzie I did Borden did not Lizzie sing Borden that. do why? the boys are back in town. Why wouldn't what? No, this was like in was, the 1830s. That was oh no, that's then Lizzie. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the whole time I was like, hey, <laughs> I was like the boys are back, back in baby. Town. <laughs> yeah, the whole time that's what I was saying. No, the whole time I was on edge. Even though the guy yeah. promised he was like then in the beginning, Lizzie. he was like, listen. <laughs> yeah. So close. This is why Alan would never solve the mystery. No. The guy was like, so listen, he's like, okay, so we're not going to lock the door. He's like, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes me feel a little more comfortable. They're not actually locking us. Oh, they didn't lock I don't the like door. the idea of that being locked in. And he was like, and I promise. And then he like winked a little bit. He's like, nothing's going to jump out at you. And I was like, oh, God damn, something's going to jump out at us. Like, so the whole time I was like that one black dude in every horror movie who's like <laughs> on edge the whole time. The whole fucking every time. time I like, I would move. I'm like, cool. <laughs> you like quick moves, and so we ended up like, and I don't want to give away the uh, the the murder, the game. Yeah, we we ended up winning. We won with yeah. like two and a half minutes left. Yeah, we solved all the mysteries yeah. of of the murder, and was there was one two? part. Yeah, it was just, just my wife and I. Yeah, but there was one part where like I, some shit did jump out at us, but it was it wasn't like a person jumping out or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It was like we we solved this part of the because you know it's like you have like all these puzzles like little mini puzzles that you have to solve, right? And like we solved this one part, and there was like a part of the bed that like because there's like so we start off in this one oh, room you like solve like oh well, there were two beds and this, see this is why Ooh. I was like no I'm not looking Ooh. under that bed I'm not looking <laughs> in this drawer I'm not going over there I'm not going over here yeah. I'm not doing any of this shit like that was the only thing I'm like I'm not because when I was like look under the bed I'm like I will never look under that bed. Like if some shit jumps out at me, I'm gonna fucking stomp it. Like I'm not I don't give a shit. They should know better than this. Like you shouldn't come at me like that. Yeah. So like I didn't look under the bed. And so like you went in from one room and then we like we mysteriously opened it into another room and then there was a second, like another room in there right. which we didn't know about because it was locked until you mysteriously open it. Which yeah. in retrospect, I could have probably just figured that out pretty easily. But I didn't. <laughs> I went played by the, the rules of the game, and they said you can't right. use brute force, which is really my strength. Right. So I was like, "Oh, we'll get this. We'll, we'll get all the doors open. Don't worry about it." And they're like, "You can't use brute force." I was like, "Shit!" There wasn't supposed to be a door there. He just put right. a hole like, in the well, wall. I did it. So, <laughs> but uh, so like we go, and so we're like doing everything right. Then we solve the first mystery, or first set of mysteries, or whatever, and then the fucking it's like. And like she goes, <laughs> and like the door, fucking this other door just opens up. And I was like, oh god, damn it, I hate this so much. Like immediately, I was like, I wish I we had never done this. Like I do not feel comfortable with this. I'm going to slice a bitch. Like so, we had found part of the axe. Like because as you go through it, you find parts of her axe that you have to like. Right. You know, you have to. Oh, I found the murder weapon. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like holding the. Like holding the axe up, like I'm gonna do something with this fucking rubber axe. Like I'm ready, ready to fight, ready to fight this demon. Here's Johnny. The ring. Yeah, it was totally. Like, and then <laughs> so we go to the second one, and like I said, there's this bed, like so a second bed, and I'm like, there's too all many right. beds. First of all, too many beds. <laughs> and then like this like fucking hidden compartment pops out of the bed, and it is loud as <laughs> shit. Like it hits the floor. Oh man, I I legitimately jumped, and I was like, I hope they have this on video because I look like a then this idiot. don't kill me. Yeah, I was like, the boys are back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was like, you ain't seen nothing yet. Is that also Finn Lizzie? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We'll I, say it probably. is. Yeah, might as We're well. Probably. <laughs> we'll say it is. But I was like, baby, I just ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> so I was like, here's something. Here's something I'm never going to forget, baby. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, so we we go through the second part and like we, we solve all the mysteries there too. And Turn then, on Rob. Oh, same thing. And then, sorry guys, sorry old people like me. And then there's like a uh, what do you call it? like a um, 
a wardrobe, I guess. Like, yeah, like the thing you that old people put their clothes a in. A chiffero. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna smash up that chiffero. <laughs> uh, and so, I don't know what a chiffero is. I know. And so uh, we get to that, and then like. We got all the axe parts and stuff, and then that shit opens up, and she's like, Arr! and we go in, and there's like a demon room with like a Ouija board and all these fucking oh, clippings. Oh, and shit. oh no. See, I was like, man. hell to the no. No, that's what I told her. I said, I'm not touching this. No, I told my wife. I was like, I will not touch this. You're going to bring that devil that onto the Ouija show board. again. Yep. No, I'm not trying to. We did not do that. <laughs> and then like, so we finally got to the, like, to the, almost to the end. And like she, my wife did the Ouija board thing because I was like, I'm not touching that shit. I don't believe right. in that shit, but I believe in it so little that I ain't gonna touch it. Just in case, just in case <laughs> shit goes wrong, dude. Last week was some liberate learning about hey, Linda and that shit. It freaked you. me out. Freaked me out. So I had that fresh in my mind when we went, and I was like, no, I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> and so. Like we finally solved it, and she's like, "Ah!" Like the voice of you know, the, you solved the mystery. <laughs> I was the murderer, bitch. Too bad I'm dead and never got charged with the crime. Too bad it's two hundred and thirty-eight years later. Yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna haunt your dreams. <laughs> now me and Jack can rip a fucking hell every night. Right. <laughs> and then, like, so we get to the end. Four we bones. get out, and we're like, "Oh, we did it!" And then like, the guy who worked there was like, "Hey, you did it." I was like, all right. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. And I was like, You want your oh. picture? Yeah, yeah. He's like, You want to take a picture? And I was like, Yeah, let me get this fucking axe. And but I made a mess of the stuff. That's the only thing is I, I felt bad because they're like, We have to reset it for the next people. And I was like, Oh, I threw shit everywhere. Cause I did. Uh, like I was just like, Oh, we don't need that. Throw it across. The be like, Ain't nobody else coming in this shit. Nobody, <laughs> no one else can solve no one else can solve this mystery like I just yeah. did. So I scooby dude this bitch. Don't even but, waste your time. But yeah, no, I was like, so what? Like, he I'm just the only he's thin Lizzie catcher around here. Yeah, that's right. Only I know that we ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> but so, like, or the boys are backing down, whatever. So <laughs> we get to the end, and like, there's this other group. And, you know, so like, part of it is, you know, there's that competitiveness of like, have of when you're, when you're like tasked right. to do a job like that. Yeah. Right. So there's other group. That time. Right. And there's other group that's like already done. They did a different one because there's a bunch of different ones. Right. And, um, they're out there talking. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, ours was really hard, blah, blah, blah. He's like, but we only needed like two clues. And I was like, mm, we didn't need any clues. And I was like, yeah, we got we got like four clues. And I'm like, did we really? Like, I didn't even know we got clues. I guess I just put them on the screen sometimes. And oh, okay. So I was like, son of a bitch. And so I was like, damn it, this guy sucks. And then the guy after the, those people left because they were all like, hey, we did it. And there's four of them, right? So that's way all easier. Right. Then he was like, oh, well, I said, how hard was the one they did? He's like, theirs was like an easy to medium. And I was like, how hard was ours? And he's like, yours is like medium to advanced. And I was like, you're goddamn right. <laughs> yeah, he's so I'm good. the next Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> hey, when they turn around, he, he turned around and left the guys like, man, they got the easy one. But I he's like, they're, yeah, all, yeah, they're, they're, they're all the same level of easy. We just don't Nine year olds that. do this. One. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I literally made, I got my child to invent this. <laughs> nah, it was cool though. Like it was, that was my first time in an yeah. escape room. And like, I'm happy to have escaped. Yeah, I've only been in one, and like I said, I was, but I was with a group of like, yeah, I, like ten I, people. Yeah. I think that and, might make it harder though. Yeah, it, it really did. was like because yeah, everybody kept trying to like take a station, and you're not you're supposed to do everything in order. You right. know what I'm saying? And it was just like mass order. Chaos. order. Yeah, but yeah I can see that. Chaos. I can see that being out of order. Yeah. Oh goddamn! I think one of them. I think somebody got murdered before we got out. Like, it was a real murder. <laughs> like someone actually died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was because. like the, it was like a glass onion. You know, the lights went out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "What happened to Fred?" And you're like, "They I came back on and somebody's beer. dead on the floor." <laughs> oh, that'd be the best part of it. Like, okay, well, I'm done. I got out. That would be like pretty cool if you could do that. Like, yeah, they saw give it. you all cards it, and saw. Yeah, yeah. When the lights go out, you're the one that dies, and then everybody else would, has to solve. I just lay on the bed, and be like, he's dead, <laughs> laying on that bed. Oh, he, he yeah. covers on him too. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, like, he's real snuggled up. How do you fall asleep so fast? Yeah. The lights are off for ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got it. That's funny. Well, Fred, yeah. that reminds me. Yeah. The tonight's episode is is brought to you by the future. Oh, the future, boy. Fred. You don't know what's going to happen, but eventually, you know, you won't be part of it. That's paid for somebody 
from the we future. Someone won't. from the future, but you won't be part of it eventually. Oh, okay. You, you yeah, won't be part I of guess. the future eventually. Right. You don't know what's going to happen, but eventually you won't be part of it. There you go. That's paid for by someone in the future. So oh, the check to come the future. There you right. go. It's true. Time so, machine. Time machine. Yeah. But yeah, so we did that. We went and then we went to a restaurant that didn't have food, which was a real well, dumb. air so burgers. Is it a restaurant? It was a restaurant, food? and they're like, we don't have basically this part of the menu and this part of the menu. I'm like, so what? Why don't you tell me what you do have? And they're like, we have fried okra, which is delicious. Don't get me wrong. I got it. And we have pickles, and I'm like, that is not a restaurant. <laughs> You go to yeah. churches. I would have much rather gone to churches. <laughs> I feel like churches would have been. No. Okay. See, here's what the mistake we made. This restaurant, apparently one of the, the chefs or one of the inventors was on like a food network show right. just like two weeks before that, I guess. Uh, and I didn't know about it. I just wanted to go try it. It was right. like Cajun food, man. Cajun food is delicious. We yeah. solved the murder of Lizzie Borden or whatever. And yeah. I was like, oh, how about some etouffee? That sounds <laughs> brought nothing. Nothing gets your hunger riled up like solving a murder, Fred. So let's get us some etouffee and some crawfish or whatever. Crawl, and crawl. Um, yeah, so we went. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to get you know, show, show. I'm fucking Cajun or whatever. And they're like, yeah, no, fried okra and pickles. So right. like, oh, well, now we now we will eat nothing. Now we will go to Carabas, the fucking worst <laughs> Italian restaurant that there is. <laughs> you ever been to Carabas, Fred? It's gross. Yeah. Everything it's about it is big it's yeah. nasty. Yeah, uh, I ordered. They play it up like as the best. Too. Oh yeah, they right. Oh, they're like, they oh, welcome to like, Italy, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, like, well, they're like, welcome to South Italy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not South Italy. No, and so oh, like, there's this y'all. one kind of food, and I not to go into the food show part of the show. Oh yeah, because I did there find a go. podcast the other day. No, I did find a podcast the other day where all they talk about is food, <laughs> and then I was like. Ooh, is that what we sound like when we talk about food? Because those yeah. dudes sounded fat as fuck. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I am fat. But like, they were like, they start off the show and like, they talked about having diabetes. <laughs> I swear to God, they were talking about having diabetes. Like in the show, like in the oh intro to the show, God. they wrote a rap song, and like part of the rap was that they have diabetes. I'm like, you don't or, don't rap about that. <laughs> no one raps about their diabetes. That's what they do. <laughs> and then they're like, hey, y'all, like, welcome to the show. We got some Popeyes with us. He's like, I drove my Popeyes on the way to the show with a line one along. So I stopped the guy and I was like, God damn, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> like, I'm going to put that shit on and go work out every time that I need to, like, I need some motivation. Listen to these fat bucks <laughs> talk about snacks. Yeah, I, I got to Listen to me talk they're about them talking about yummy. snacks. In my tubby. Yeah, they're yeah. like, listen, I'm going to put that real close to the camera. <laughs> now, <laughs> listeners, hashtag what do you think we're eating? <laughs> These fried pickles are delicious. No, no. no it's terrible. <laughs> it was gross. It was super gross. So, yeah, we ended up going to Carabas, and I ended up making the same mistake. Fred, are you ever like blind to certain, like, like I'm food blind to one thing, and it's like something that I really love. Chicken out. I used to eat it all the time. No, God, no. No, and that but that's essentially what I end up ordering every time. <laughs> when that's not what I want. Yeah. I ordered chicken marsala, chicken mas- marsala. Yeah. Right. Which yeah. I think is chicken piccata, piccata. Because chicken piccata is what I want every time right. I order chicken marsala and then when I get it every time I'm like this is not it. Yeah. And every time they're like that's not what that is, sir. That's the well the lady uh, in fairness to the lady who worked at Carabas I don't even know how she was alive because <laughs> she had no dude for I'm not I shit you not and God bless her if she's listening which she uh, certainly probably can't hear probably but not. she had two she had both her wrist had braces on them like thick braces like she and she was real fat real short oh yeah so it was like a sausage casing you know and it was just like, <laughs> and like her fingers didn't move much and she had a headband on like a like a bandana on oh, no. and, and i'm like this is a, like a public place you don't shouldn't be like wearing those colors with your fucking fat wrist <laughs> and then like she did the thing and i'm sure you've seen this i know plenty of comedians have done this thing where like she'd be like oh do you have they have like the ipads you know that they walk around with when they right. take your order and stuff or whatever yeah, like, uh-huh. tablets right and so she's like she'd walk by me like oh you guys need anything and i'm like oh can i get like a refill of my you know my soda and she's like sure <laughs> 
<laughs> it'll be right out. And I'm like, how many fucking buttons did you have to push to put <laughs> refill the soda? <laughs> and she's like, then she'd walk off and I'd hear the next table like, <laughs> okay, bread's coming. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Just go okay. get the soda. Yeah. Serving. I couldn't do it nowadays. I used to, you know, I used to serve a little bit. I couldn't do it. Yep. I know. Well, I could do it. Now you're serving people. Or now you're yes. getting served. Because I know you I know people ain't tipping like they used to. You got served. No, <laughs> I didn't tip. I did tip her did you? probably better than she deserved. Honestly. <laughs> Not because the service wasn't good. Her. It's just the she food. Sucked. Yeah, I had to because I was like, I don't even know if she can touch yeah. it. Like pick up the ticket. Like she didn't bring out the food. Some other dude who was very unenthusiastic, which I get. <laughs> Brought out the food, and he was just like he kind of like laid it on the table, <laughs> like and like I didn't even like didn't even ask whose was whose. He just kind of like sat it down and walked off like we're going to like fuck this place, which I get that. I definitely get that right. feeling. That's the thing, man. I went to uh, yeah. I went to pick up an online order today from uh, a store, like a clothing store that right. I had done, and um, the lady lady who was doing it, who was like doing the online orders was also the returns and was also a cashier all at the same time as one lady. Right. And there were so many fucking old white people in front of me. <laughs> like I went to the first like place and there was nobody there. And the lady was super nice. And she's just like, yeah, no problem. If you want an online pickup, it's downstairs and around the corner. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm. So I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Well, maybe it's not so bad. There's nobody up here. Go downstairs. There's like seven fucking elderly white people in front of me, all ladies and all mad as shit that they were buying clothes. <laughs> they were so mad at those clothes they were buying. <laughs> and, and they and like I don't know if it was just because I was there or what, but they all wanted to tell me about it. Every <laughs> yeah. one of them was just like, "Hey, so man, a man. I've been standing here." Yeah, they're like, "I've been standing here for fourteen years," and I'm like, <laughs> I, don't, "I don't feel like that's true." And they're like, "You know what the problem is?" And I'm like, "Oh fuck, here we go. <laughs> like here we go. Here comes something racist." You and people in lines. I hate people in line and they know it. It's like, it's like animals, dude. I'm allergic to like so many animals and all the animals know that I'm allergic to them. So right. they're like, let's go rub on this motherfucker. Let's go rub around <laughs> this guy. Yeah. That's what the people, that's what all the, the old ladies let's go rub like. rub on this dude. They're like, they, they, we know that this dude doesn't want anything to do with this conversation. <laughs> He's staring at his phone intently. So what we should do yeah. is we should be like, Hey, I've been standing here forever. You know why? Speak like, God damn it. No. Why? And they're like, <laughs> corporations and i'm like wait what like i thought you were gonna, like because for a second like the lady who was doing the the check it out was like a younger african-american lady she's a super sweet lady yeah. but i was like oh fuck here we go and i was like and i'm not she could hear that's the thing about it is the elderly people think that if someone is more than two feet away from them or if they're turned in a different direction than that person yeah. is that they cannot hear them yeah <laughs> And I'm like, they can hear you. Everyone can hear you. The whole goddamn can store can hear you, lady. Yeah, they always think it's line of sight. <laughs> yeah, like, it's oh, like, I can't right, see yeah. them. They can't hear me. Yeah, you know? the hearing aids are turned down. Oh, God, yeah. But no, I, and they're like, and of course, so like the, the, fir, per, the two, first two people in line in the store is boring, but it's funny. We're like, like there for a long time, right? Because again, it's returns. It's all this stuff. Right. And like the one guy, is, it's a guy and his mom, I assume. And they're getting a card for the place. Like, you know, they do the thing and they're they're like, oh, would you like to get a, a card for our store for whatever Mr. Shenanigans fucking yeah. shoe store? And they're like, I'd love to. <laughs> and everybody in the line at the same time is like, God oh. damn it. Oh. <laughs> the old people were like, yeah, the old people in front of me, one of them was like, of course, they're getting a card. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> And then the other lady, the other old lady was like, well, maybe they'll use it to get some new clothes. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, like, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. This shit is getting real. I'm going to get into a fight. They fucking stamped it on them. <laughs> I was like, straight to it. Like, and I was like, God. and then they like laughed. And I was like, this is not right, man. This is they just laughed. not. They laughed. They, they laughed together. They cackled like that bit, like that Lizzie Borden bit. See, that's what you got. You got, you know. When you stand in line, that's like anyway. You stand in line, you got to talk to the people around yeah, you, man. It make the time go by. Shit happens online. It didn't make the time go by, but there was a guy. Yeah. guy like uh, there was a Latino dude who was like two people behind me, and like where we were, we were like by the big and tall section because that's yeah. where the I guess that's where all the fat people as far as they can get before <laughs> they can like return something or, or order or buy it. And there's a guy behind me, and he's like, "Hey, 
And there's like, you know, again, I almost took a picture of it actually. And then I, no, it's not. This is a race. Danny Trejo. No, Danny Trejo. I, I almost sent a picture of this to you guys before this happened because I was like, oh, we talked about Tommy Bahama shirts like two weeks ago. Uh, there was like this really big, like really big uh, uh, Hawaiian shirt. And it was very yeah. brightly colored. Like you could not miss it in the dark. <laughs> like in the pitch black dark, you see it very clearly. Uh, and the guy's like, hey, next time I see Fluffy, I'm going to wear this shirt, man. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, dude. But he was funny as shit. He just kept talking about, oh, I'm going to wear this. And like, he wasn't even fat. Yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to wear like a size 6X. Like, he just wanted to, just this thing. So then they were school shopping. He was telling me about school shopping. And I wasn't listening, but you can't not listen. That's the problem. You have yeah, to yeah, no. You don't want Baby to, rude. but you must. Baby no. rude. Well, speaking of rude, I'm going to be rude. And we're going to take a quick break. You're going to rip apart, man. And then I'm gonna rip a, rip a big rip a dude. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> Home is where the fart is. Yeah, we'll be yes. right back. The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Farty, Farty, come uh. here, boy. Farty, hey, what? Are you trying to tell me something, boy? What? The Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. What? BLCpodcast.com and Twitter and YouTube? Party! Thank you so much! Welcome back to the 103rd episode of the Black Link Collective Podcast. Fred is still chilling. Alive, what is Fred Yeah, you are apparently yeah. very chilling. Yeah. I'm chilling, man. Now, now Fred is merely I feel a, good a now. I'm, I feel relaxed. I feel like you're going to be asleep in moments. Probably. Let's go. Yeah. Fred, out of our, in our, in the sca- escape room that we, that is this podcast, Fred is the one who just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm dead, guys. I'm laid out. I'm I can't laid tell all you the way clues. out. Nope. I got killed. It's in my butt here's crack. The, here's the knife. Yeah, yeah, to get the key out my butt crack. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's like reaching to my tummy. <laughs> so, so welcome back, uh, Fred. We're so glad that you were able to get out of your bed slightly. Thank you, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. Be here for us. Um, well, Fred, I know trying to, trying to juvenate. Trying to what juvenate. The fuck is juvenate. Yeah, I'm trying to juvenate. Is it's that true. like rejuvenate? Except before you do it again. Yeah, I have because I've already used my juvenation. I used my rejuvenation for the day, so now I got to juvenate for so I can uh, rejuvenate for tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, oh, okay, so if you hear snoring, it's probably Fred. Uh, I'm, I don't snore, you guys. No, I don't snore. if I lay back, I'm out. You don't snore. I, just, <laughs> I breathe heavy. Yeah, you just don't breathe snore. and make noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, that's way scary. <laughs> Sound like a fucking Wookie. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> so, well, Fred, I know that you missed a lot of those. That's probably why you're juvenating now, is because you yep. missed a lot of sleep last week. Yeah, when our boy what? Alan took this his show on the road. Yeah, and obviously got a haircut I and did. went to uh, <laughs> Times Square, in New York City. Oh. Yeah, I went to New York. Yeah, I had a good time. Did you yes. go to Times Square? No, I did not. I didn't. I went. I went to Queens, and then I went to Long Island, and then I went back to Queens. And oh, you didn't go to Times Square? Did you see any of our friends from the Pop Culture Pros pod, or Pop Culture Pros Network? Because uh, you could have. No. They also live up there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually. You could have. Should have went. Should have went to uh, Steve's house and got a sandwich. Right. It's not Steve lives in Florida. Like, well, Steve lives in Florida. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You could go. Should have went to his mom's house. I know his mom still house. lives in New York. Yeah. Well, you can you can go. Like, there hey, and, Steve's um, mom. I'm, you can go I'm to Steve's house. Steve. And, like I know and Steve, and she's like, "Who the fuck is Steve?" You know, three or four t- timeshare dates that you take down there. You should. Try yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Get your timeshare. Hook it up. down there. He might be the guy who owns it. Yeah, he might be. He might be. So, Alan, tell us about your Alan about town trip. 
to the Big Apple. Yeah, to the Big Apple. It was uh, it was different. It was uh, yeah. New York's Same. actually. It, it's um. You know the way the news portrays New York and all that. It's New York is still the same. It's it's busting. Really Everybody's dirty. doing. Dude. No, no, actually, it wasn't. No, that didn't seem. Nah, man. I mean, it's, I don't. It's a big I city. don't believe it. I don't listen to the news, man. You know, in New York. Uh, now, um, I did know. I did uh, find out that in New York, you don't. Um, they don't give you uh, shopping bags. You have to, and you don't use plastic bags. You no use plastic cloth. bags. Nope, no plastic bags. I went to no Walmart American and, Beauty in New York. Nope, I went to Amer- uh, I went to American Beauty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Walmart to buy some shit, and they didn't have a bag. And I was like, even yeah. at Walmart, how yeah. is there a Walmart in New York? Oh, there's yeah, is there's like Walmart. a bodega. No, it's um, it's actually it's it's it was pretty cool because it, it was Walmart, but. It had a bunch of Hispanic stuff in it, so it had all the cook, kick-ass food really? and shit. And, you know, like was it like Walmart. was it yeah, tall? Walmart. Like Walmart was? I know it ain't like a big open warehouse like our Walmart. So like, do they build it up or like uh, the, the groceries on the first floor and like it was like the cheap neighborhood sweatpants Walmart. on the second? It was like the neighborhood the weights and treadmills on the top floor. <laughs> yeah, you know that's how Walmart <laughs> it was thinks. more like the it was more like the food type of Walmart and they had like the essentials. Oh, okay, you yeah, know, it's like the neighborhood Walmart neighborhood market. market. Yeah, neighborhood, neighborhood market. market. Probably no, Walmart and, and, neighborhood bodega. <laughs> and in Long Island, they had like a regular WalMarts. They had the big sure. ones, with right. the, you know, the car really? stuff and all that stuff in the back. Yeah, God damn, they had so that. Glad to know that's this. a lot of money. Yeah, or that land and Walmart yeah, has a lot of Walmart. I know they do. Yeah, and uh, I flew in. I flew in from from here. I flew into Laguardia, and the trip in was it was great. You know, you got there, yeah. everything worked out fine. You got back, this and on riveting. the way in, I was coming back home, and uh, my sister dropped me off, and. Uh, at the airport, so I went up, went inside, checked in, going up the escalator, go down the escalator, go to the C terminal, and I go around riveting the C- fucking story, Fred. I go around the C terminal, and there's this guy there with his pants down, just taking a grumpy, taking a shit right in the damn right airport. Right in the terminal, man. He was in. Did the he terminal. look like? Did he? Did he look like he was there to? He belonged in the fight? airport. Yeah, uh, was he like a hobo that had wandered into the airport, or was he like I, there for a flight? I, honestly, I didn't do eye contact because if you do eye contact, <laughs> you know it'll be like, "What's up, dude?" Right. You know, I didn't want to. Yeah. Hey, look at this so, shit! Yeah, so I just was like, "Oh shit!" Just kept on walking. That's crazy shit, man. Everybody, there was like ten people, eleven people in front of me, and everybody did the same exact thing. Sure. Just turn around the corner and just kept on going. That's and the, the first thing is, lesson you know, I taught my you, wife. You, you look ten paces down the road, man, and, and there's a bathroom, but no nah, motherfucker was out there. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. He had uh, he had uh, like a Bluetooth headset on, like with the earphones, but there was yeah. Bluetooth. He was, like, he was just taking DJ a grumpy. Another yeah, it was one. crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Like New York. Another one. <laughs> Concrete jungle, I shit in the terminal. You know, he did. He took a grumpy in the terminal. No need to that. Hey, man. I just don't know that I can. I I will say I've never shit on not in a potty of some sort. But, like, I don't know that. I I just feel like it would be so uncomfortable to not wipe. Mm -hmm. Or did he poop and then go to the bathroom to wipe? I know. I didn't get that far, man. I just saw. I mean, you should have stuck around. No, dude. You should have been like, like, hey, bro, what's up? No, and there was like a Starbucks and the Dunkin' Donuts sure. and shit right there, and I was gonna get a coffee, and I was like, uh, uh-uh, I'll just go nah, straight to the. Th- <laughs> so I was like, shit the time, I was like the, damn it, I want yeah, no, <laughs> the shit smells already. The air is probably off the Starbucks. I'm sure. I mean, by the time I got up to the top part of the escalator, you saw security, like the cop, the port authority guys sure. coming down, and they were rushing. But, port a potty. Yeah, yeah no, I would have been, been taking my time. I'd have been taking my time. I'm, yeah. I'm not rushing down there. Yeah, Y'all ready to shit? You know, yeah, they let let shit, up. Yeah. You know, have the radios and they're like, yeah. I was like, oh man, put on the put on the gloves. Solid. It's a shitty situation for them. <laughs> you gotta be prepared, man. That's like insane, solid, man. Chief. How do you just drop a deuce? I don't know. You gotta, go, you gotta go. How you don't know if there was a line at the bathroom? You don't know. No, the bathroom. Ooh. I mean, for all I know, the bathroom Still, may have been bugged. Man. You know, the bathroom may have been right. closed, and he's like, "Well, fuck y'all." You know, yeah, I'll take he's a like, shit I ain't got here. time for this. You know, it was got to do what I got to do. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. At I'm least be like, don't me. look at me. I'm yeah. sorry. You know no, yeah, that, like, that, 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 no, he wanted to change. I mean, he, he, he had that. his headset. He was like, I bet you he was listening to <laughs> New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Concrete jungle where you can poo poo. Before you want to. Yeah. Taking a shit in New York. And you're like, this isn't Newark, you bitch. Yeah, it Newark. Like, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Newark. In Newark, in Newark, it's, it's in Newark expected. that's expected. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. In Newark, you're like, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's Jersey. I get it. it was, yeah, it was. Sure. It, it was. Um, no, it was eye opening. Let's put it that yeah. way. That's well, that's the number one rule, though. Like you said, is do not make eye contact. No, no, I did not make eye that's contact. That's what, like, so, like, my <laughs> lovely wife, who'll probably be on the show next week with her horror cabinet or whatever spooky stories yeah her spooky her spooky chivalro yeah <laughs> horror <Tales>. uh <laughs> with her spooky chivalro uh well, well was that she would always like the victim of hobos and like bums because she would look at them and like make even the second of eye contact yeah but she would always make eye contact and be like hey you got a nickel you got a quarter, whatever. You got twenty three dollars and forty three cents, yep. and I'm like, bitch, come on, we gotta move. Like, get. And so finally, I was like, you just cannot. Don't look at them. Yep. Don't, just don't do look it. at them. Don't look you at them. Can't do it. Because all the time I'm hard. like, no, it's oh, hard. It, it, it's it's hard, hard not to look at them, and they want it's you to hard. look at them. Yeah, yeah oh hard. yeah, they want you, you know, to look And up. he was at the bottom of the steps. Yeah, so he when you came down the airline, location. And you're going they straight got down like a roller in the eyes, man. You know, like you're in a roller no. coaster and you're going down the roller coaster. Yeah, it's you like, see it coming. There he is. You're on the escalator, you yeah, can't you stop. Can see you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, oh no. That's you know, New York like, busking, Fred. You know. I started walking down the escalator. That's what he should have did. He should have shit right at the edge of the escalator. So like you have to like jump to jump over the shit. See, I like the idea of him doing it like right where the like uh the handles go back into the escalator yeah. <laughs> and so like it just oh, so smears it the whole the- yeah oh, oh yeah that's <laughs> terrible because hey. there was like a wall it was they, they had a wall and it had a column sure. so when you came yeah. down the thing and you look there he was i mean you could see his head you could see the headset so what, first yeah. what you do is you see the headset because he was like on his side, and then he just yeah. looks. And he's like smiling and listening. And I saw. And when I noticed he was taking a grumpy, I was like, the opposite way. I'm like, hell no, I ain't looking at this motherfucker. Because uh-uh. he, he hey, look at him like, hey, back man, here you taking the shit. <laughs> <laughs> he I loved it. Tell nobody else. <laughs> he loved it. That was probably made his day. That was. Mm-mm. He was. He probably got laid over. And I was like, yeah. you know what? Not having this. I'll get my revenge. I will get on the next yeah, flight. And this Poyo is local. Yeah, I mean, it could, it could be. It could be. Yeah, he could have been. He could never know. Pissed at something. Why don't you try to get him on the show? Uh, no, no, I no. I, I wasn't you talking. No. You shouldn't have looked at him. You should have just dropped one of our business cards in his. Yeah, in his here, wipe with this. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you want to hear some shit? Look at that. That's what you should have. You should have walked around. People saying, if you guys, guys want to hear some shit. <laughs> Here it is. Put a New put York, a black legged collective sticker over his butthole. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Now, when, now when, when I was younger, no, and I, I, I used to, when I was younger, I used to party and I used to go to the beach and party. One day I had to take a grumpy, and I took one. In, <laughs> in yeah, the yeah, take one in the woods. Yeah, oh, yeah but, like you in the, the woods, beach in the sand, though. And like, then I covered it up <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I a covered dog. it up, and I used and the you walk five feet away, butt like a big leaf. Later that night, some guy and girl starts making out on the yeah. beach and start rolling around in it. That's <laughs> yes, my revenge. That is that one. I forgot about that till just now. I did that. Uh, and at least it was one of them walking ones because I was like, and then I started walking. So it was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, some kids going to be searching for seashells. Yeah, they're going to find it. <laughs> They're gonna find a type of seashell. Like Look, it's gross. corn. <laughs> it's corn. I was oh, corn that, that, no, that, no, that. Uh, what is it that you have, Alan? That you can't eat corn. That was that's revenge. Ticulitis. Yeah, that's a diverticulitis. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, that was the revenge. Yep, that's the reason why I can't do it because that's I took a dump in the beach. <laughs> Fred seriously looks like he's about to fall asleep. Piece of sand crawled up your ass. You got a pearl up there. That's right. And then it, it took over. Yeah, it could have been like a, a snail. You don't know. 
Anyway, yeah. well, Alan, I'm glad you had a safe trip. I know you went to see some family. I'm glad yep. you had a great time. Glad you saw your your uncle that shits everywhere. I assume he was related <laughs> to you in some in some way. No, Why not? I had not seen the uncle. That white guy. No, no, he was a white. And he was no, a white guy. Okay, good. No, one he, for he, us. He 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 he, he, he was a uh, he he was Hispanic. He you know he was represented. Oh, yeah. he's one of us. Yeah, he was represented. Viva la raza. Viva no yeah. campanero. Viva la raza. That, that's probably what he said. Reason. It was like no, I didn't look at because he'd be like, hey, what do you call? Yeah, give me some money. Yeah, like, no, no speaking English. <laughs> I'm glad that you had a great trip. That's the main oh, thing. Alan. You God. made it back. You weren't covered in shit. Nope. That's pretty Ooh, good. Honestly. Stinky doo doos. That's the airport. <laughs> yep. That's a that should be your DJ name. Stinky doo doos. Stinky doo doos. Hey, Show welcome to the Stinky Doo Doo and Fart Show. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna take another quick break, and we will be back yeah. with more. Yeah, because we have to transition to the next thing. Oh, we can transition. Okay. Well, okay. We're not taking a break. Welcome, ladies. And gentlemen. <laughs> How am I supposed to transition from that? How am I supposed to transition from Alan's? Well, you know, in the night? you know what else is in New York, Alan? Let's talk about if more you, shit. you was in New York, you should have went by the Mattel Corporation. Yeah, why didn't you go see a movie, Alan? Yeah. Oh, Mattel is headquarters. Like- and you know what Mattel is most famous for? Uh, Barbie dolls. Oh. Yeah, and I, I see. I see Alan is uh, prepared for my Barbie movie review. He wore his pink shirt tonight. Yep. And he's got the music going and no, oh, none yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what, what, what music would Barbie have besides the Barbie song, that other song? I don't know. I mean, because I'm you know, a Barbie aqua. girl. Well, no, they have Barbie, Barbie and the Rockers. Yeah, Barbie and the Rockers. <laughs> did it? I did. Yeah. Well, I was I did. Yeah, I yeah. yeah, they had Barbie and the Rockers. That was Jim and the. Jim and the, the glam- Gemini's. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what was it? Jim and the Jim and the uh, and the Gemets? No, it wasn't Jim the Gemets. The Gemets. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and the holograms. Holograms. That's what it was. Yeah, Jim and the holograms. That was. Uh, there was a movie that was released in 2015 about that. Yeah, that was terrible. I was We're excited for that too because I used it's got to Julian Lewis it. in it. No, huh? Molly Ringwald's in it. <laughs> Who is Aurora Paranew? It isn't. Oh. It didn't live up to the cartoon. It doesn't matter. Mm. It had Ryan Guzman in it. Is that mm. Hector's cousin? Molly Ringwald. Like All right. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> we what we did the transition. <laughs> I told you we should have taken the break. Let's take the break. We can't take the break now. now. It's too late. You cut all this shit out. No, no I, I ain't cutting nothing. That's out. too much work, man. Oh, I was like, I okay. cut all this shit out. Anytime I ask Alan to cut something out, he like doubles it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I was playing twice then. So, Fine. Fred, yeah. in the spirit yeah. of fair use and communication, we sent you, our roaming reporter, That's right. to the movies. The to movies. See the Barbie movie starring Ryan Gosling, right? Oh, man, you ain't going to get Barbie top billing. And... Margot Robbie. No, it's, cool. Isn't it all about the patriarchy? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's that's what Starring happens. Like Timu Lu <laughs> and Will Ferrell and Ryan Gosling. I mean, Fred is just like, yeah, I went to the Michael movie. Sarah. No, I dude, he's gonna to fall asleep movie. any second now. He really. Is. It was. It was all. It was my daughter. Like also Emma Mackey. She. Uh, she's the one that wanted to go see it. Greta Gerwig. We went. And it really wasn't a movie for kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there was kid stuff in it, but like it had more adult jokes. Like it had me crack it up. Can I read you a, a review of Barbie, the Barbie the movie, before you just to see if it's influenced my you? review? Carl Johnson, 14 <laughs> hours ago, wrote an unforgettable delight. <laughs> oh, where do I even begin? <laughs> or, and now you just tell me if this is true or not, Fred. Okay, right. I'm reading it word for word. Oh, where do I even begin? Barbie 2023 is a tour de force that has left me utterly captivated, enchanted, and spellbound. Every moment of this cinematic marvel was nothing short of pure excellence, deserving nothing less than a perfect 10 out of 10 rating. 
from the very how long is this oh my god this is a really long thing okay we're gonna keep going from the very first frame barbie 2023 instantly transports you into a world of wonder and imagination the stunning visuals and breathtaking cinematography create a visually vibrant landscape that is impossible to resist. Their attention to detail and set design and costumes and visual effects was truly remarkable, making every scene a feast for your eyes. The stellar cast, I feel like AI wrote this. The stellar cast mm-hmm. effortlessly breathes life into their respective characters, adding depth, charm, and charisma to the already flawless Jesus screenplay. Christ, how long is this? Goddamn- this is not even, I'm not even halfway. The talent on display is simply extraordinary. Each actor brings their A-game, delivering nuanced performances that perfectly blend humor, emotion, and excitement. It's a testament to their skill and commitment that I found myself wholly invested in their journey from start to finish. I thought this was Fred's movie review. No, this is now <laughs> Carl Johnson's movie. Carl movie the ass. Cocksuckers, cocksuckers. Three hours worth of fucking shit. Musical story. What do you what do you think about the storyline, Fred? Because Carl Johnson thinks it was an unforgettable adventure filled with unexpected twists, heartwarming moments, and valuable life lessons. Yeah, I thought it was good, man. Like I didn't because I didn't know <laughs> like what the story was gonna. I didn't I didn't read any reviews about it or or anything like that. So Carl I didn't Johnson. know. Huh? You should have just read Carl Johnson's thing out loud. Yeah, you like, wow, just, damn, Fred, you really got into this. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I mean, it was my movie review. It was my movie review, so I was giving my movie review. All right, let's hear it. All right, go. All right, let's hear yours. Movies. All right. I mean, it it was good, though. Like, I mean, I thought the acting was was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, that's a stretch. But, like, I give it a a good 7. I give it a a 7. Mm-hmm. I mean, the story was pretty good. How like he took the whole, he went and flipped Spoilers. the whole Barbie Spoilers. land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who but, did? I mean, Can't. yeah. Now y'all make me feel weird. I don't know. Well, you said he flipped Barbie land. Who did? Yeah, yeah he who, flipped. Like he went. He thought like the whole thing was supposed to be like Barbie land. The real world was supposed to be like Barbie land. Barbie thought she fixed all the world's problems. You know what I'm saying? So she thought everything was perfect. And they go there and they see the real world. And all the dudes in Barbie land are submissive. So they right, all cater to the girls Barbies. rule. Yeah. Right. Girls rule. And, right. and they, and he goes rule. back, he goes back to Barbie land and tells all the kids that, you know, like God's rule is shit. You know what I'm saying? And they <laughs> take over. Barbie. Oh, and so they try to flip <laughs> the script on them. Yeah, yeah, they bring the patriarchy into uh, into Barbie Land. It's, it's fucking, nah. it's hilarious. And then, like Alan, you said you play with you, you played you like you would fuck up the Barbies. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah, I'd burn them and shit. Yeah, you burn them and shit. So they have like all these different Barbies, and they have like a weird Barbie, and she's all fucked up with crazy hair and like shit all over her face. <laughs> and they, they're like, yeah, that's what happens when you play with Barbie too hard. Like she's weird, Barbie. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I thought about that. I was like, "Yeah, I used to beat up the Barbies and tear the heads off and shit." Oh yeah, cut their yeah, hair. So and mark I made I room. made the weird Barbies. But I recommend it. But it was crazy though because like we were at the movies and um, the Oppenheimer came out right this week. You know what I'm saying? And it was in the theater next to us in IMAX. So like we're three quarters away to the Barbie movie, and the whole cinema starts shaking. You know what I'm saying? And you can hear the. Boom. I turned to my wife. I was like, "Yo, they just dropped the H bomb." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, "And now I'm gonna drop an F bomb." I was like, "I gotta go. I really gotta go see that. I just want to see." Are it you gonna that. go see Oppenheimer next week? I want to. I want go to. Because uh, I heard that uh, Florence Pugh has like a. From the sex scene, I don't know who that I is. Mean, why would going. they put that in that movie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah <dude. laughs> I wouldn't think Barbie would have had a full frontal. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, no. I know they couldn't do that with Barbie. Yeah, why they could throw plastic, plastic boots, just yes, plastic. Right. You know what I'm saying? They could just life in plastic. Is so, when she was in the real world, was she plastic? No, she actually, like. Got to be a real, a real person. girl, mom, and like 
she has to go to the gynecologist. Like, oh, <laughs> of course. So kids everybody movie wants to know, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the, the jokes, the jokes were like the jokes were really good though. Like, yeah, but it was definitely. For I mean, adults. yeah, it, it's they were for adults. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. the the jokes were really good. I mean, real spot on. Like, it what they weren't force fed. Will Ferrell was a little over the top. Sure, well, like Will Ferrell thing. is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's quintessential Will sure. Ferrell in this movie. So, so, so mild overall, the loaf. overall, how many poops in an airport <laughs> lobby would you give it? <laughs> out of out of, out of ten. Yeah, I would give it seven poopers. Seven poops. Oh, wow. I would give it seven poopers. Just imagine, yeah. Alan, if there were seven people lined up to poop right beside that other guy. Six like, people beside that guy. Especially like if you if you like listen to the songs like they play, you know, in the background, like they, they say like some funny shit. They say some, I mean some hilarious but you gotta be quick. You know what I'm right. saying? You gotta be quick. So it was what whoever wrote the script did a good job on it. Right, yeah, they really did. They really did. Good. Well, that's what I yeah. heard from Carl Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Carl Which actually I looked force. up chat GPT um uh, yeah, review, I'm it's the exact it, same it thing. Was, it was really, really close to that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it was, no so one bad. can write that much about the Barbie movie. I mean, right. I'm sure it was good and everything, but you can't do that much. <laughs> it did, yeah. Charles, well, Carl Johnson, he's a Pulitzer pull Prize award-winning yeah, pull some, critic. Reviewer. <laughs> yeah, critic movie reviewer. You gotta love him. That guy, Carl. Well, hey, Fred. Excellent job. I got a question for you. Mm. The sponsor of tonight's Fred's Night of the Movies said, "Hey, Fred. Yep. You love your car, don't you? I do love my car. Don't you think its slick lines and tight body are sexy as hell? Oh yeah. Of course you do. We all mm. think your car is Fred. Fred, haven't you always wanted to do naughty things with your car? Mm. I know Alan has. I don't know. I see him rubbing his bare ass on your fenders in the parking lot." Mm. Well, my Fred, car? Yeah, hey, I'm just telling you what I, Come on, man. I'm just telling you what's happening. Well, Fred, I know there's been only one little thing holding you back from making <laughs> sweet consensual love to your three tons of throbbing hot metal that's sitting in your garage. Oh no! What's that one thing you asked, Fred? Yep. Well, of course, it's those unsightly lug nuts your metal mistress has always been ashamed of. But be ashamed no more. Because our friends at Creep Daddy Customs have finally come up with a solution. That's right, Fred. Creep Daddy Customs, makers of the Carndom, <laughs> the only way to stick your junk in your car's muffler, have just announced a new revolution in vehicle grooming, lug sluts. That's right. <laughs> Let your nuts go nuts with lug sluts. Lugsluts.com. They're slutty lug nuts. <laughs> slutty lug nuts. So that you can bang your car. Get your cock out of my Chrysler. <laughs> and use the car and dump. <laughs> what if you have an electric car? It's like nah, Barbie. You it's still bad. have lug nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you still have lug nuts. I think. I don't know. I don't know how Tail electricity works. Little thinner. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but you don't have the muff. Like a girl blur. with a tight tailpipe. Right. Yep. And a nice muffler. <laughs> Get muffler. It? I'm All right, that was great. That was great. I'm glad we didn't use that last week. <laughs> we were gonna have that come on. Wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have been appropriate. No. So. Usually, All right, Fred. You got anything? Any parting gifts good. for the people from Barbie? I want to say uh, before we get out of here. I want to say rest in peace, Nate O'Connor. Oh yeah, R.I.P. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Nate. She died young, man. Was she 53? 56. 56. 56. That's pretty 56. young. Name another song besides "Nothing Compares to You." Uh, Sinead O'Connor uh, rap. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing compares to you, too. Yeah. Still nothing compares to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Prince wrote that song. I thought she wrote that song and then Prince covered it. Mm-mm. No. No. Prince wrote it, she sang it, and then he covered it? He, he covered it, yeah. Is it a cover if he wrote it? Yeah, that's right. It shouldn't be. No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe let her borrow it. I don't know how all that works. I don't know. I'm a prince. I know he wrote a couple songs for a bunch of people. 
Did you know the uh, Did you know Red Hot Chili Peppers wrote that butterfly song? Butterfly. Yeah. Sugar Ray? No. Or the Come Come My Lady? Yeah. You're my butterfly. Sugar Ray. Really? <laughs> yeah. Anthony Cruz really? wrote that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what that has to do with anything. I don't either. But hey. That's there great. you go. That's your tip of the night. Tip of the <laughs> night. That's Fuck your you, creep daddy custom. Tip of the dick. By the black and clicking pocket. That's right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, this was a weird one. <laughs> We're still reeling from last week's show. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys, everybody, for listening. If you've listened this far, God bless you. And feel free to send us money to shut us the fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, everybody. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. I'll see you later. Yo, bye bye. Damn it. Yo. Failed again. Yo, Yo bye bye. I never <laughs> can. <laughs> Boom, bitty, bye bye. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs>